All right, guys, we are here at William A. Shomo Field at McKee Stadium, where we are going to do a special edition for Jayhawk TV. Yes, I said special edition. Um, this week is Hall of Fame week here at Jeanette, where a group of former Jeanette Jayhawks are gonna be inducted into the Hall of Fame. So we are gonna talk to a few of them and see what it's like for them to be welcomed into the Hall of Fame at Jeanette and, you know, catch up with some of their fellow athletes and, you know, some people that they might not have seen in a couple of years. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so we are here at William A. Shomo Field at McKee Stadium for Hall of Fame week. And I'm standing next to the legendary coach, Art Tregesser. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm uh, doing great. So you get to come back. Right. You know, we see you in the stands a lot. Obviously, you put in your time as a coach. What does it mean to you to be inducted into the Hall of Fame at Jeanette, to be put um, your name put with a lot of other great players and coaches. Well, this is my hometown. Yeah. I played midget football here, junior high football, high school football, uh -huh. and coached there for a long yeah. time. This is just great. Just great. I, I, you know, I can't tell you how excited I am yeah. and how good I feel about this happening. So you went through the whole Jeanette program. The whole thing. Yes. Right. And, you know, there's a lot of people that hopefully are watching this that aren't super big Jeanette people and they don't understand what the family aspect is in Jayhawk football. What does that mean to you? Oh, when I was a kid, yeah. a little kid, we would come up to the games, we would march behind the band, <laughs> we'd march from the old yeah, high yeah. down on 4th Street yeah, yeah. and come in and Friday night was an event. Yes. I mean, it was just a big party, a big celebration. Yes. And as a young kid, uh, you know, you come up, you see guys like Dick Hope uh -huh. and, uh, you know, Buddy Torres and guys like this yeah. who are your idols. Yeah, exactly. Idols. And that's and that's was made it so special, uh -huh. you know, to uh, to play here. Yes. And then you get to then coach these guys. Yeah. And, you know, what does that feel like to go from the kid that is cha marching behind the band to playing to now being? the signal caller oh it's <laughs> it's it's just uh you know amazing uh -huh. and uh what's what's really unbelievable is uh there's gerald over there i, I coached both those guys over there yeah and we'll have a big argument because G gerald they were both fast <laughs> but jab's dad uh-huh was faster than gerald <laughs> So that's going to be a, a source of argument. I, I, I feel like that's going to be a sore but subject. It's, 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 it was just uh, great. And then uh, what really started making it special was uh -huh. I started coaching the sons of my classmates that went to yeah. class, we went to school here, yeah. and having their uh, sons and daughters in in class. Yeah, it, it was just. Uh, it was just great. Now you get to come back for the Hall of Fame week, and now you get to see new head coach Thomas Pallone take yeah. take over. How do you think he's doing, and what do you think it, you know, like what does that mean to have another Jeanette boy come up and, you know, take the take the reins? Well, he understands. Yes. He understands Jeanette and <laughs> yes. what this is. So he, that's, that's the biggest part of it. Yeah. Uh, I, you know what? I I met Tom a while ago, but uh, I really knew his uh, grandfather, okay, uh, Eldo, who lived right over uh -huh. there, and he was a, a big Jeanette supporter. He really, was on the school board, and he he really helped us out yeah. a lot. So it, it's you know it's it's great to see a Jeanette guy here. Yeah, exactly. Well, we want to congratulate you on being inducted into the Hall of Fame, and we oh, thank you for your time. All right, guys, so we are here with head coach Janine Vertaknik. You've coached for many years here at Jeanette. Yes. Now you are being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Can you tell me what that means to you? Uh, I've lost the words to be, yeah. to be honest with you. I mean, it's yeah. an honor, um, a special privilege. I mean, there was a lot of great athletes yeah. and people that came out of Jeanette, and for me and my team uh -huh. to be honored, we're, we're so excited. So it's the 2010 basketball team. 2010. I see you're yes. repping, you're repping all yes. the hardware that you got <laughs> that year. Absolutely. Um, what do you think was so special about that team that you know it led it to the to to the big house? You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when I got here, um, I was coaching a middle school team, and mm -hmm. then I started an elementary program. Yeah. And so that elementary program, I met those girls in fifth grade. Yes. And they stayed with the program, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade. Yes. Eighth grade, they went undefeated. Uh-huh. And so I knew then that we really had something special. Uh-huh. And they just stuck with it. And, you know, eight years of the same thing, the same coach. Yeah. The same kids. Yes. We got them believing. 
And when they were seniors, they put it all together and we won that championship. Hey, it's always great to bring another trophy back home, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So tonight you're you're being inducted with a whole bunch of other legendary Jayhawks. Who are you most forward looking to catch up with? Well, I'd like to, some of the people I don't know. So I'd yeah. like to see who yeah. they are. Uh, yeah. I know for a fact, uh, Tracy Bone, I mean, yeah. uh, taught her daughter played for me on my basketball oh, yeah, team. Yeah. And also, uh, Sierra Gregory's dad. Yes, yes. You know, so I have two of my athletes that now their, their parents are being <laughs> inducted. And, uh, kind of like full yeah, circle. And Jesse, my assistant coach, I don't know if he's going to be here or not, Jesse Bone, but again, his niece and his sister yes, is yes. part of this, uh, week. So it's, you know, it's an exciting time. It's like a big family gathering. Right. right? I just <laughs> met uh, the wrestler, Mr. Hartung. Yeah. yeah. So it's nice to just, be part of the big Jayhawk family. So what do you want to tell uh, Jayhawk Nation now that you're being inducted, the game's about to start? You know, just can you go over what the atmosphere is like here and, you know, how you're feeling? Well, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, yeah. And, you know, like when they say once a Jayhawk, always a Jayhawk. It's no matter I left here and I'm still coaching <laughs> for my 37th year. And no matter when I run into someone from Jeanette, it's always how you doing? How's your team? <laughs> you know, they always make you feel welcome and they make you feel warm. I'm excited to see what Tommy's going to yeah. do with the football yeah. team because yeah. I coached his sister. Yeah. And, uh, you know, in basketball. So it's uh, I think it's going to be an exciting night. It's a beautiful night. Yes. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing some people I haven't seen in yeah. a while. And for the record, you coach me too. I did coach you. Yes, I did. Yes, I All did. right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, so now we are here with Brian Waitman. Brian, how are you doing today? Great. How are you? Yeah. Pretty good. So you are now being inducted into the Jeanette Jayhawk Hall of Fame. Your your name's now going to be with a whole bunch of legendary Jayhawks. What does that mean to you? Oh, it's a huge honor mm -hmm. because there's been so many great athletes yeah. and people I've come across. So it's just a yeah, great honor to be recognized and, and grouped with all those people. So let's take it back to high school. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you graduated with a 4.0 GPA. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But play just about every sport. How did you manage your time as a high school kid? Um, you know, just a lot of hard work. My mm -hmm. parents did a great job of raising me and yeah. um, you know, just time management, you know, just working hard at everything, you know. Sports yeah. and becoming a student athlete, you know, you got a students really important yeah. for that too. So So between the 2007 and 2008 season, you got a lot of hardware, didn't you? Oh yeah, for <laughs> sure, yeah. So you were a part of the football mm -hmm. team that went to Whippeo, right? Yep. Sure, and then yeah. the basketball team and the baseball team, right? Yep. And yeah, they so. both went to Whippeo, correct? Yeah, the football and basketball, yeah. Yeah. For sure. and, and then mm -hmm. also with baseball, you had a 500 batting average, right? Yes. Yeah, uh, so. That's crazy numbers to think about. I know, yeah. It's, it was <laughs> Look, definitely a wild ride. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> Looking back on that, how, like, did you ever just think about how did I accomplish all that? Yeah, definitely looking <laughs> back, you know, it was definitely a fun time. Yeah. Um, you know, all the sports. We had such great teams and yeah. there's so many great athletes too. So Yeah, and you know, you're kind of like the picture perfect. You graduated high in, in your class. You were on all pretty much all the sports teams. You know, there's a whole bunch of student athletes out there that are like that. What advice can you give them to, you know, stay right in the classroom and on the field or court? Um, I think you just got to keep working hard. I mean, it's um, you got to put in a lot of hours mm -hmm. and you got to do the work on and off the field, you mm -hmm. know, kind of the behind closed doors type thing. You yeah. Know? And so, and just listen to your coaches. I know there's a lot of great coaches out yeah. there and mentors. So, well, how about it, yeah. Thomas Malone taking oh, over? Oh, I know. I love love Thomas taking over. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're going to be in good hands. Yes, good hands. I think he'll, so. He'll he has the around. perfect Eric Taylor vibe from oh, Friday Night Lights. For sure, yeah, <laughs> yeah. for sure. Yep. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for yes, your time. Thank you, appreciate <laughs> no it. No problem. All right, guys. So we are here with Tracy Bone Cunningham. How are you doing today? I'm well. All right, so. You are here with a whole bunch of legendary Jayhawk names. What does it mean to you to have your name amongst those legends? Um, well, actually, I was pretty shocked. <laughs> um, that was first. Yeah. Um, but for me being the only female PIAA mm -hmm. champion, because I was the, the state champion yes, in the long yes. jump, um, the only female, I mean, it, it, it's an honor. It, it mm -hmm. truly is an honor. And I think it's a nice thing that they're doing with yes, the Hall yes. of Fame here um, for previous athletes of Jeanette. Yeah, um, so you said you you did long jump. Did you do any other events? 
I did the triple jump. Uh -huh. um, I also ran on the relay. We, yes. We didn't place anything in that. And I, I I placed sixth place in the triple jump, though. Wow. Yeah. yeah. At the state meet. How do you train for a triple jump or a long jump? Or how does that happen? <laughs> um, well, honestly, we really didn't have a coach that was a jumping coach. Uh -huh. So... To, to, to be honest about it, my husband actually taught me how to triple jump. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, he had the basics and he taught it to me and one other lady that, wow. that jumped and it just went from there. Wow, that's, yeah. that's pretty cool. So, um, you're here tonight to watch the Jayhawks. You'll be at the banquet tomorrow. Correct. Um, you know, can you just tell Jayhawk Nation, you know, kind of what the atmosphere is like, how it is to meet up with some new play or some of the older players. It's kind of like a family reunion type of thing. Oh yeah, it's real nice. There's a lot of people that are here that I haven't seen in years. Yeah. So it's nice. And I mean, for me personally, uh -huh. um, I haven't been at a Jayhawk game in a while. Yeah. Um, it, I, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But, yes. Uh, this, this made me come and it's just like old times. It's, yes. it's great. Yes, without a doubt. And with that, we will take a quick break and have a moment of silence for Trey Cunningham. Thank you. All right, guys, so now we are here with the wrestler, Danny Hartung. How are you doing today? Doing great, doing great. So, you know, we were saying a little bit before, wrestling's not a super talked about sport, but can you tell me what wrestling meant to you growing up? Oh my gosh, I, I can't imagine life without wrestling. Yes. I mean, I've wrestled since second grade. Wow. Uh, Jeff Carroll, one of our neighbors, told uh -huh. me about Junior Olympic wrestling program. Uh -huh. and, uh, one of my other neighbors, George Myers, was the coach yes. and drove us down to practice. And we pulled out all these old canvas mats, all the <laughs> friends I made. And, yes. You know, just the athleticism that wrestlers have and determination and fortitude is amazing. Yes, and now this week, you're coming to William A. Show Mofield at McKee Stadium to be a part of the Hall of Fame class for the, the Jeanette Jayhawks. What does that mean to you? Uh, last year, I was inducted in the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. Really? And this <laughs> honor is more important to me. <laughs> Hometown <Yeah>. boy, right? <laughs> Um, so you're now a two-time Hall of Famer. I don't know how many people can say, say that. Right. We're going to have to get you a gold jacket here pretty soon. Right? Right. Just a blue and, blue and uh, gold one. Yes. And so you're here now. Um, you know, wrestling's not as big as it was. What do you want to tell the kids that are still on the Jayhawk wrestling team, even though they go to Hemphill? Oh, wow. That's very, very difficult to say. I mean, yeah. I, I wish we had a wrestling team here. Um, but you're there. I'm sure they're Jayhawks. They have to have a split mm -hmm. duality there to yeah, be, yeah. you know, a Spartan and a Jayhawk too mm -hmm. at the same time. So just hang in there. Be the best wrestler you can be. Train yes. as hard as you can, and uh, know that we love you. And like uh, the wrestler with Eric with the Berg was it Ber Bergam. Bergens, yes. yes. Ethan, Ethan. He's Ethan. at West Point right now. Yeah. Ethan, yes. We were following him uh -huh. from Florida. I was watching to see how he was doing the last couple of years. And yeah. Follow him at West Point also. So you said Florida. You you live in Florida? Tampa, Florida, yes. So you flew up for this? I actually was on a last leg of my vacation in Bar Harbor, Maine, uh -huh. and flew in from there, and I got to fly, fly back to Bar Harbor uh, on You know, Sunday. once a Jayhawk, always a Jayhawk, always right? A Jayhawk, exactly. All right, well, thank you so much for your thank time. You thank you. <laughs> So now we are here with Terry Gregory. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. <laughs> so we are here at the Jeanette game. You guys, um, you're with a group of people that are about to be inducted into the Jeanette Jayhawk Hall of Fame. Um, saying that, what does that mean to you? Uh, it means that uh, I'm going in as one of the one of the few athletes right now. Yeah. There'll be a lot to follow. Mm -hmm. But to me, it's always Jeanette's always been about the 160 pound football player. <laughs> Those are the Hall of, Fame, the Hall of Famers, you yeah. know what I mean? Those yeah. guys, 160 pound linemen, yeah. practice players. Yes. Without those guys, nobody's going to yes. the Hall of Fame, right? I was going to say, you were a quarterback yeah. uh, here and then went on to Temple. You probably had a lot of respect for your offensive line. There's there. no doubt about it. And, and, and when I played, my, our backfield was well over 200 pounds per player. Yeah. Bigger than our offensive line. Really? So that's why I say the 160 pound yeah. Jayhawks. Yeah. 
<laughs> there are meat and potatoes okay. of this, the whole oh, thing. Okay. So, know? yeah, so we were talking um, just to Brian Waitman. You, you were a two-sport athlete. How did you manage your time with the two sports and in the classroom? Well, the classroom, back then it was, it was not like, you know, it was it was less stressful actually mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. you got your classwork done and a lot of free time yeah and then from jumping from football to basketball Jeanette was always in the playoffs so we were always late coming over yeah. but there was always the whole group you know yeah. it was like three quarters of the team coming over late you <laughs> yeah. know what i mean and it usually took eh, a couple of weeks to get your basketball legs yeah back, i was gonna know? ask yeah how long um did that create any problems, you know, going from football to basketball, getting getting your legs back? Uh, not really. <laughs> yeah. You knew they were going to come, and it was just yeah. a matter of time. And, you know, we got exhibition season and yeah. before we had league play. And league play back then, either you won the section or you didn't get in the playoffs. Oh, okay. You know yeah. what I mean? A lot different today. They'll yeah. take three, four teams. Mm -hmm. If you didn't win the section back then, you weren't getting in the playoffs. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Um, Basketball though runs pretty big in your family. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. My brother. <laughs> yeah. Played with him as a as he was a senior. I was a sophomore. Yeah. My daughter played played at Charlotte. Yes. Now she's coaching at Charlotte. Yes, Sierra did set a whole bunch of records herself here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you yeah, guys can be next to each other in the record book now, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she was a lot better basketball player than I was. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was a joy to watch her play. And, um, you know. I appreciate it. Yeah, I enjoyed it myself. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, guys, so now we are here with Gerald Jab Foster. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. Yeah, uh, so I have to ask, where did the jab come from? The jab, so that was my nickname given to me uh, since the very first day I was born. Uh -huh. uh, when I was born, it's one of those pictures, the first picture they take, you know, mm -hmm. I'm a little baby and my hands are like <laughs> this. So my grandmother, uh, Grandma Woody, she named me Jab and uh -huh. it stuck and everyone calls me that. You were a fighter since day one, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. So we are here for Hall of Fame weekend. What does that mean to you to be inducted in with all of these great legendary names? Uh, I'm just very humbled. Mm -hmm. um, humbled is the word for me. Uh, everyone knows the tradition is great here. Mm -hmm. And there's a ton of athletes that have played here, went on to do great things. And for me to be considered and recognized mm -hmm. as one of those athletes, is uh, uh is i'm very appreciative so i was looking over some of your stats only three losses in your high school career i didn't even realize that when i was looking <laughs> over the stats <laughs> didn't feel that way but uh but yeah yeah three losses is that like a number you want to get like tattooed now that you know that? <laughs> <laughs> well i wish it was zero but but yeah uh we had a lot of success. I played uh -huh. with a lot of great, great uh, athletes, especially my junior year. Um, I was unfortunate um, mm -hmm. football-wise to miss my uh, my sophomore year and basketball-wise for yeah. the most part. But uh, yeah, we have we we had a lot of success, but wish we could have brought that whippy old home. So um, you said you played with a lot of great players. Mm -hmm. Who was your go-to guy to throw the ball to? Like, Man. you know, if you threw it up there, if it's at least five yards, you're getting it to. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one that I knew I loved handing it off to was Dave Bone, uh -huh. um, but Michael Jones, Gabe Smith, yeah. uh, Brent Wiggum. Um, Brent's going to be calling the game later. Brent is going to be calling <laughs> yeah. the game. I will be connecting with him later. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, a um, lot of super great athletes. So we're going to go in. You're going to see Thomas Pallone take over as uh, head coach. Mm -hmm. You're going to see what he's going to do with single A team. Wh how do you think he's handling himself right now just as a former player you know, how do you think he's doing so good? For yeah, him? listen, so I talked to him um, as soon as he got the job. I mm -hmm. congratulated him, reached out, congratulated him. Had a lot of discussions leading up to the season. Mm -hmm. I was just over there pregame talking with the team. He asked me to come over and talk. And I'm so excited that he's here yes. right now. He brings a fresh energy to the, mm -hmm. to the program. He's, he can relate to the kids. He gets them motivated. Um, and he cares about them not only as, as football players, but mm -hmm. as um, as human beings yes, and young yes. men too. 
So I'm super excited. He's, I think he came in at a great time. You got a lot of young talent mm -hmm. with this freshman class coming in. The eighth grade class is even just as talented yeah. and numbers wise. So I think he came in at a great time and I'm excited to see where it goes. Without a doubt. So I do have to ask, we were talking to Coach Tregesser mm -hmm. and he said your dad is faster than you. I'm not gonna argue that. <laughs> I'm not gonna argue that. I mean, I've never seen him in person, but what, from what I hear, I think he might've been the fastest to ever come out of Jeanette. So. <laughs> So he just handed it down to you to be number two, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> yep, thank you.